Hey what's up guys, it's Sendo here. I've been hearing your suggestions, and for that reason I'm going to be doing another theory video. I'm going to be talking about diseases in Deep Woken, and I'll be trying to explain all the information that we know about diseases, and all the things that I think will be in the game. Before I get into this video, I want to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more Deep Woken content. So the Deep Woken developers and community have all indicated that the game will be more immersive than something like Rogue Lineage. This immersion comes in many forms, with lots of different futures that they added to the game. For example, players will have to manage their thirst and blood, as well as their hunger. Players will also have to manage to deal with the risks associated with travelling, such as piracy and environmental struggles. All of these things have been talked about though. One thing which I feel like has been swept under the rug is diseases and illnesses. So the thing that really prompted me to make this video was when Agamatsu was doing a live Q&A in the Deep Woken Info Discord. One of the questions he was asked was whether there will be more diseases than in Rogue, and this is what he said. Are there more diseases than in Rogue? Yeah. So he confirms that there will be more diseases in Deep Woken than in Rogue Lineage. There aren't many diseases in Rogue Lineage, but there are status effects such as Frostbite and Hyperthermia. There are also other debuffs that you can get, such as injuries and trauma. I believe Deep Woken's disease system will be a completely different thing than what we've seen so far in Rogue. Here's why. In June 2020, a video was uploaded to YouTube titled New Deep Woken Gameplay Leak. This video would later be known to the community as the Giant Crab Leak. The leak essentially showed two people fighting a crab boss in the depths and we got to see some of the talents that were available in Deep Woken. Some of the names of the talents were really cool, and some were obviously inspired by anime, such as Shield Hero and Battle Tendency. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be talking about a talent that was shown, which has a much less exciting name. The talent that I'm referring to is Iron Gut. So the gut, in simple terms, refers to the small intestine. The main purpose of the gut in the human body is to um, control the digestion of food. An unhealthy gut can lead to upset stomach problems such as diarrhea and constipation. More interestingly, people with unhealthy guts are unable to digest certain types of foods. This can lead to the same symptoms that we discussed before. Someone with a weak gut is more susceptible to food poisoning, and they are much more likely to suffer from hygiene-related diseases. In today's standard of hygiene, people really don't get food poisoning as often. But back then, these types of diseases would kill people with weak guts because the quality of the food was so poor and there was no treatment. For example, the King of England, King John, died from dysentery, which is an infection of the intestine, resulting in severe diarrhea, and can lead to blood loss. I believe that these types of food-related diseases will be in Deep Woken. While they definitely won't kill your character outright, they will probably have some severe downsides to them, such as rapid blood loss or less max hunger capacity. The way that you get these diseases will probably be through eating raw foods. That's where the talent Iron Gut comes in. Iron Gut will probably allow you to eat raw foods with a much less chance of getting these diseases. I know this topic is kind of grim, so let's move on to illnesses. In Infinasu's Deep Woken Direct video, we got to see a new type of flaw. A flaw in Deep Woken is a unique type of debuff that you choose when you start the game. This debuff balances out a buff or a boon for your character. We can quite clearly see that the flaws that he chose were called Seasick and Squeamish. Seasickness and motion sickness in general is a lot more common than something like food poisoning so I guess you guys would know a lot more about that kind of thing. Motion sickness is described as illness caused by motion during travel. If you have this flaw in Deep Woken, seasickness is probably activated when you travel on a ship for too long. There are many symptoms of seasickness, however the two that we'll focus on are dizziness and vomiting. When your seasickness is activated by traveling too long on a ship, I think one of two things will happen. Either your screen will start shaking sporadically, kind of like the Abyss Dancer quest, or you'll start vomiting up frequently, causing your character to cough up blood and lose hunger and thirst. Apart from these two pieces of information, there isn't really much else to speculate on. 
Thanks to Agamatsu, we know that diseases will probably be a very serious thing to consider in Deep Woken. This is why it will increase immersion, because you'll need to plan for a long trip ahead. By preparing lots of safe food, and making sure that there are places to stop along the way. If you found this furry video enjoyable, please consider leaving a like on the video. It takes me a long time to come up with theories like these, and produce the videos. But I know it's what the fans enjoy, so I'm gonna keep on doing this type of content. As always, thank you for watching, and peace out.